Our disorder is retinitis pigmentosa. So people think that when you're blind, it's just singular, but it's actually binary, meaning two. So you're either completely blind or you completely see. So there's a large range of sightness between fully sighted and completely blind, but there are a lot of variations within the range. Sometimes some blind people can actually see or see in the sense of like feeling something or are completely blind, but there's only a few that are completely blind and can't feel those different senses. Um, the most common causes are cataracts, glaucoma, but some other issues definitely could be you're born with this or childhood blindness. Um, you can have a stroke during birth or premature birth itself. Or there's other cases like cortical visual impairment. Uh, screening for these problems may improve future vision itself, and it's also will lead to educational achievement. Uh, you can find this out by diagnosing by a simple eye exam. Some treatments definitely vary, but you want to be able to orient and be like mobily active. Tools such as a white cane with the red tip, you know, the international symbol for blindness, may also help as being blind, their senses increase. So they take the white cane and the tapping of the sound helps them get to where they can feel it. Now the cane is pretty big, meaning that they can feel stairs in front of them or people or different objects. Others read braille and rely on talking books and readers or reading screens, which convert printed text to speech or braille. They use computers with special hardware such as scanners and refreshable braille displays as well as software written specifically for the blind such as optical character recognition applications and screen readers. Now, Stargardt disease is the most common inherited retinal disease, and it usually has an autosomal recessive inheritance caused by mutations in the ABCA4 gene. Rarely it has an autosomal dominant inheritance due to effects from other genes, and is characterized by degeneration that begins early in childhood, adolescence, or even adulthood sometimes, which results in progressive loss of vision. Presentation of this disease usually starts in childhood and adolescence, though there's no age limit for the presentation. And the main symptom is loss of visual activity, which is unsectable with glasses. This manifests as the loss of the ability to see fine details when reading or seeing distant objects. Now the symptoms usually develop before age 20 and include wavy vision, blind spots, blurriness, loss of depth perception, sensitivity to glare, impaired color vision, and difficulty adjust adjusting to dim lighting. There's a wide variation between individuals who have this disease, but the symptoms are generally the same, and all start to be passed down from generation to generation.